This is not a normal church. Have I tell you that many times? This is not a church at all. This is an altar. The altar of the God of Prophet T.B. Joshua is here. I was trained by Prophet T.B. Joshua. I was nurtured by Prophet T.B. Joshua. I was helped by Prophet T.B. Joshua. Jesus, for your glory and for your power. The hand of God will rest upon you. Brethren, really, I have experienced God's help. Wow, when I came to Roadmap to Jesus International Ministry, my story changed. The proof that you have met with the presence of God is testimony. What is that challenge that you brought to church today? Hey, shh. The last hour of the mass prayer, I was very sick. But I heard a voice and said, the service is going on. I couldn't stand on my own. But I managed. But I heard the man of God say, I received the blood of Jesus. I said the blood of Jesus. Drink it. I put all my demand. The blood of Jesus in those days right now. Play the blood of Jesus. Play the blood of I Jesus. I to confess it. I begin to drink it physically. I said, within five minutes, I ran to the washroom. They started vomiting. For more than 10 minutes, I vomited. I said, oh my God, what is coming over me? They are not just ordinary men. They are spirits. Of God used in this ministry. Stay continuously. Pray, not midnight prayers, money prayers, Zoom meeting, receive your Sunday service. You will get a book. If truly water become wine, that means wine can become blood. Receive the blood of Jesus! My name is Maria Yusuf. I am from Canada, Toronto, and we are here, Roadmap to Jesus International Ministry. And my name is Ganat Yusuf from Toronto, Canada. My name is Chantal Kenneth. I advise everyone, nobody should miss out this experience. This is lovely presence of God over here. I want to share my experience about my deliverance and the presence of God in this ministry and the church. 
Okay, so I run to several places for my deliverance. It is God, the Lord strong and mighty who brought me here. I am so blessed. I got my deliverance here. The presence of God at that place was so strong. Nobody can escape that presence of God. It was mighty, mighty. I got delivered. My family got delivered. I got healed from my blood pressure and I am free forever in Jesus Christ's name. Well, firstly, I'd like to say that the presence of God is here. Heaven touches earth here and the atmosphere is mighty and weighty and nothing escapes the presence of God in this place. You will know that you have come to the highest government and this is God's own ministry. Uh, my encounter with the man of God was that simply he was the most loving person I've ever met and my life will never be the same after meeting him and to God be the glory. And I would also like to say that the whole church team was just like family from the very first day that we met them. So I'm so pleased and honored and privileged to have come here um, and I just give all praises to God. My advice would be that just look at the ministry and with your heart you would see that, like I said, this is God's own ministry. This place is genuine. The power is genuine. The testimonies are real. So I would really advise you to partner with the ministry and um, nothing in your life, any area of your life will not remain the same. You will be blessed. You will receive all that God has for you. About the team uh, with men of God, they are so blessed. So you don't have to be scared. Like they escorted us everywhere. Whenever we need anything, they are there for us. Their love, their compassion. It's a very secured place. We came all the way from Canada to here. It's a very secured, I'm telling everyone, you just come and experience the power of God. Our prayer life is so much strengthened now. We know as men of God counsel us, teach us how to pray, how to, how to connect with the Spirit of God. Thank you very much for everything what you have done for us. The Lord mighty will bless this ministry and the grace upon men of God is so high. Thank you, Lord Jesus, to bless this man more and more and more in Jesus' name. Keep, Keep watching the Roadmap to Jesus International Ministry. ministry. You, you and your household are loved by God. God. Good morning. I'm winning today. Win forever. I'm James Knight from Toronto, Canada. Experience that I had is so great. You have to be here to understand and see that whatsoever you see on the TV, it is totally different. And I encourage everybody to be a part of it. Let me tell you about this prophetic well. It is light trace I follow, track. Light go and I continue to follow. It will land on somebody. I need to talk to I'm praying against health challenge. Yeah, that's what brought me. I'm tracing the roots. It's not just only that one. I'm tracing everything. I want Jesus to make me conceive and be a child in my marital home. Are you sure you have not conceived before? I conceived before I had a son. He died. I had two miscarriages. After that, not that one I'm saying. Have you done abortion before? I did it once before that, I got married. That is what is hindering you because I see a baby crying. The one that was given to you, you remove it. But there is a way. And the way is to ask for mercy. Are you with me? So ask for mercy. A ship that carries people. Lost power after departing from Baltimore's port. Fashion to the bread. I see it escalating to become a global war. My country, the election will not go the way we planned. 
it will not go the way we want. John 14 verse 12 I tell you the truth anyone who believes in me will do the same works I have done and even greater works because I am going to be with the Father Look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open your eyes. Out in the name of Jesus. Every sickness, open your mouth. Out in the name of Jesus. Every pain from your body, from inner and outer world. Out in the name of Jesus. Move. It is over. Put your hands together for Thank Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. You say you could not bend. Could not you could not talk. Can you bend? Do that. Bend Touch it. Are you feeling any pain, ma? No. Can no. you feel any pain? No. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together. I'm not only going to raise you as an, as an apostle of God, but I want you to raise people too as an apostle. God general, I know that. You know that we are what? God general. Prophet T.B. Joshua came to raise great generals of God and we are coming to stop the people that want to tap into your anointing. Don't forget for over many years I was under that altar lending, sacrificing my time, sacrificing my effort, sacrificing my energy. So you think you can be from outside and say I belong to it too. Satan so said no, we know them. We know the disciple of Jesus. We know the follower of Jesus. We know their sacrifice. Every country is shaped by you. Morning and night, we are the star. Confidence I've lost, I've regained it because of this ministry. Indeed, this is not a church, but the presence of God. Jesus Christ is in this ministry. Jesus Christ is still alive today. Jesus Christ is still heals. He still delivers and he still saves. This ministry has made me really see God the right way. I thought God had left us when our father went to be with him. Praise. But God is here. Praise. God is still alive. God is still here in this great ministry. My life has changed for the better. I'm no longer the same person I used to be because of this ministry. I'm grateful to God Almighty and to you, Evangelist Ghost Time Father. I want to say thank you, sir, for availing yourself to be used of God. I want to say thank you. And may the good Lord Himself continue using you to save humanity in this lost generation. Thank you so much, Mother of God. Indeed, this ministry is a roadmap to Jesus. We are truly blessed and covered. We are enjoying the love of God the goodness of God, the faithfulness of God, who is servant, our spiritual lawyer, evangelist, God and other, and we allow himself to be used by God. We are truly loved by God. Good morning and when today. My name is Joy and I'm Ashlyn and we're both from Switzerland. And we came here to Nigeria to visit the church and to come for spiritual retreat. And I can say it was really a blessing. God has done exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask or think. We were really blessed. We received deliverance. We received healing. We received so much from God. Yes. Yes, exactly. We were always watching um, the ministry from home, but now we had the opportunity to come and be live in the church. And it's such a big difference from home and uh, in the ministry in itself. You see everything behind the scenes. It's beautiful and we receive the power in another way. Oh yes, we could also come to the prayer mountain and see everything. And my advice to you viewers, everyone who wants to come, 
I say come here because the presence of God is here and I can assure you the Lord strong and mighty is in this place and when you come you will receive your deliverance you will receive your healing and you will be blessed and you also will get the opportunity to meet the man of God face to face he's such a loving kind and humble person he's set by God to um, help other people to save many souls and you'll be surely touched by his presence so keep watching Roadmap to Jesus International you are loved by God. Good morning and win today. Uh, my name is Francis. I'm from Ghana. I actually came here with a heavy heart, different thoughts, uh, not feeling okay. And I, I felt like seeking God. So I chose um, to come to the roadmap to Jesus. After stepping here, the first thing the man of God told me was that I'll have peace going back home. So, and as I'm speaking with you now, uh, my heart is at peace. I'm very happy that I actually came here. I don't feel like I used to feel now. Um, I'm very happy. And I want to say that it's a place God exists. But my experience here has been very wonderful and peaceful. Uh, the man of God and his um, workers has received me so well. So I'm really glad to have come and the experience that I've had with them. So if you have the thoughts of coming here too, like I have done, you don't need to be afraid, you don't need to be thinking of what can happen. You just need to contact the church and the people of Roadmap of Jesus and everything will be fine. My stay here has been wonderful and I know yours too will be okay. Keep watching Roadmap to Jesus. You are loved by God. It is written, I have given you power to silence and make there be orderliness in your atmosphere. Where can we go from his presence? God anointed Jesus with the Holy Spirit and then he anointed him Jesus with Christ. power. So you can be anointed with Holy Spirit and not be anointed with power. No one can help you. Satan cannot help you. Peace! He knows what you scream. Demons cannot help you. Your forefathers cannot help you. Holy Ghost. Fire! You understand? He cannot touch you because the spirit of God behind you. He is behind you. He's the one who anointed you. We can't stop you. I don't know how she came here. I blocked, I blocked the phone, I blocked the phone, I blocked it, I blocked it. So you don't, you don't like her to be here? Why you don't like no, this place? No, no, it's very hot. Because the fire is always too much. I've never seen this type of fire before. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ, any glory that have been tightened in the catch fire, catch fire. Get fire! Get fire! Get fire! Get fire! Get fire! Get fire! Silence, Christ! This is the place of war. There is war going on. It's not for entertainment. There is a hiding in your life. Right now, begin to send fire to them. Continue to send fire to them. Send fire to that sickness. Send fire to that disease. Send fire to that sickness in your body. Your body is the temple of God and not the temple of death. And not the temple of pain. Not the temple of disease. Not the temple of sickness. Begin to send fire. Peace! I exist before time. You need deliverance? Son of the moon. You are the stone of the moon. Yes. This is near success syndrome. At the point of breakthrough, you receive disappointment. Yes. Who are you? You want to know me? Yes. Okay, now let me introduce myself. Holy Ghost. Fire! Fire everywhere. Fire everywhere. Fire. You cannot hide here. The ground is fire. Fire! Not Christ. No 
Oh yeah, this guy. The guy. Yeah. Fire the guy. Fire the guy. My case will not escape. My case. My case. This sickness will not escape the anointing of God. This problem will not escape the anointing of God. This hardship, this challenges will not escape the anointing of God. Begin to pray right now. Match my leg. Matches. Now go. It's over. Move, move, move. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I can walk. No feeling of pain. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Where can we go from His presence? all around the world you are welcome to roadmap to jesus international ministry in jesus name anywhere you are joining us from today we greet you good morning and win today good morning and win tomorrow good morning and win forever in jesus name you and your household you are loved by god in jesus name let your heart be connected viewers Jesus Christ is speaking to you. Jesus Christ wants your heart. Jesus Christ is looking for your heart. Jesus Christ is looking for your attention. This morning, give Jesus your undiluted attention and he will reach you at the point of your needs. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are in a year of complete joy. 
let me tell you to have complete joy we must pray to have complete joy we must what we must pray if you are looking for complete joy therefore don't stop praying never stop praying oh yes no matter what you are doing never stop praying the great prophet prophet tb joshua give us a good advice he said walk as if everything depend on you he said pray as if everything depend on god so both the businessman and the ministers of god we must pray equally we must pray as if everything depend on god and we must walk as if everything depend on you are you a student pray as if everything depend on god and study as if everything depends on you are you a footballer and you are watching me footballer you must pray as if everything depend on god and play football as if everything depend on you oh yes i'm telling you when you combine this hard work with quiet confidence with god you will get to your destination brothers and sisters we must make sure we pray in this season this season require high level of spiritual prayer this season require high level of spiritual prayers the bible says the kingdom of god suffered violence only those who are violent in the spirit get their portion things don't just go the way you want you force it there can be no destiny without a fight there can be no destiny without a fight there can be no future without a fight satan will not allow you to wake up as a young child growing up and become successful he said all i know is to go to good school all i know is to be from a good family all i know is to be from 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 a good background a good community a good country that is not enough satan is everywhere satan is in u.s satan is in nigeria satan is in europe satan is in asian countries satan is everywhere christians must learn to pray it is very very important if truly you want to triumph if truly you want to be victorious if truly you want to reign in this life we reign by power we reign by power and to have power you must pray oh yes satan don't just obey you because you are you are a christian satan don't just listen to you there are people today who 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 often say things like this I, I don't know why satan is disturbing me i don't know why demon is disturbing me i don't know what i have done no i don't know what i've done to people i don't know what you have not done anything let me tell you your offense the greatest offense you have committed is to be alive as far as you are alive satan will fight as far as you are alive satan is not tired so you too must not be tired that is why the bible says in the book of luke 18 and verse 1 men ought to always pray and not offense oh yes men ought to always pray this season we are in now we are in a season of aggressive prayer any time and any moment we must pray this is not the time to coordinate yourself to when to pray and when not to pray i'm telling you every time in this period is a prayer period every time every time because when you are praying you are planting prayer is a seed when planted can bring an harvest i'm telling you prayer is a seed when planted can bring an harvest as you are walking you are going to walk this morning now begin to pray don't say i'm not a man of god i'm a banker listen to me banker listen to me banker that is not the wisdom of god you must as you are as you are rushing to the bank make sure you are praying in your heart teacher say i'm going to teach children don't worry teacher make sure as you are going to teach students as you are going to teach have lecture or classes for people make sure that you are praying make sure you are praying everything require prayer now everything require prayer now only prayer can bring harvest to you only prayer many can walk but without prayer you can't get the harvest make sure you are praying make sure you are praying make sure you are praying jesus never stopped praying Jesus never stop praying. Jesus never, never, never stop praying. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayer and end up with prayer. Prayer is the master key. Let me tell you, if you hate prayer, you will suffer. If you hate prayer, if you are always weak to pray, you will suffer go and check people who suffer today are people who are too tired to pray too weak to pray too lazy to pray too ignorant to pray 
too careless to pray. When you see people who are too weak to pray, get ready to see their complaint. When you are see people too tired to pray, get ready for their complaint. I said, when you see people too ignorant to pray, ah, in this same time, Satan is moving like a roaming lion looking for who to devour. Satan is moving like a roaming lion looking for who to do what? To devour. It is not you. Satan can't find you. Let me tell you, each time you are praying, you are on fire. Each time you are praying, you are on fire. Each time you are praying, you are on fire. I often say this thing, but let me say it one more time. I have never seen a mad person entering fire. I have never. I have never. I have never seen a mad person, a mental disorder person, entering fire or putting his hand on fire. Let me tell you. If you become that fire, Satan will stop disturbing you. If you become that fire, I'm telling you, you are a safe place. Your life becomes a safe place. Your business becomes a safe place because Satan cannot enter fire. Satan knows he cannot enter fire. If you have ever seen a mad person inside fire, tell me. Tell me. No matter how mad a madman can be, when he sees fire, there is a level of sense to tell you that this fire is dangerous. You can be that fire that becomes dangerous to Satan. You can be that fire that becomes dangerous to idols. You can be that fire that becomes. Jesus entered a town and said, have you come to destroy us? Go away from us because you are not like us. Demon tell Jesus, go away from us. You are not like us. Demon look at sons of Sceva. He said, Paul, we know. We know this man. We don't go close to them. Jesus, we know, we don't go close to them. He said, but you, who are you? Brothers and sisters, this is a period to pray. This year, again, you have, you have your prayer request. It's not enough to say, Lord, this year I want to start a new business. This year I want to get married. This year I want to settle down. This year I want to carry my child. This year I want to do this. This year I want to do that. And Satan look at you and say, so you, you think I will just allow you? You think I will just allow you to just do all these things you have mentioned now? Ah, Jesus. The kingdom of God suffered violence. The kingdom of God suffered violence. Only those who are violent in the spirit can actually make a decree that this year I am going to prosper and they prosper. They, they, we prosper not by desire. We prosper by dominion. My business will not go down this year. You say it and you back it up with prayer. Let me see the devil that come around that business. Not just declare it away. When they say business will not go down. Say amen, amen, amen. It's not amen. Back it up with prayer. When Satan come around that business, let it see that your business is on fire. When you come around your children, let it see that your children is on fire. Your children don't know what is protecting them. They don't know that you have become, you have become a fire that is around them. Through prayer. It is time for prayer. Viewers, anywhere you are, make sure you share this link. With your friends and family. As far as old map is concerned, we believe in prayers. We believe in prayers. We believe we have seen the wonder working power of prayer. Prayer works, yeah. I'm telling you. There are people after this morning prayer and they are having instant testimony. Maybe you wake up this morning, you are weak. Maybe you wake up this morning, you are you are tired. Maybe you wake up this morning, you don't have motivation at all. Join us in this prayer. You will be strengthened. You will be strengthened. You will be renewed. You will be rekindled again in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, let me tell you the truth. The fact that Jesus is in heaven and is praying for us is a proof that there is a warfare dimension. Oh, yes. Jesus says it is finished on the cross. He went to heaven and the Bible says he's still he's sitting at the right hand of the Father and he's praying for us. Why is he praying for us? Jesus knows that there is still battle on it. Ah. Jesus know that there will still battle on it. Jesus know. God of Prophet T.B. Joshua is aware that there will still battle on it. There's still battle. We must pray. We must pray until that victory is given to us. We must pray until that breakthrough is given to us. We must pray until we reach our promised land. We must pray until we lift up the trophy. Paul said, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have finished and I have kept the faith. What I am expecting now is the crown of righteousness. Until that crown of righteousness is given to you, never stop praying. Never stop praying. Oh, never stop praying. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. 
the Lord mighty in battle. Amen, amen. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen, amen. There are people, you just wake up this morning now, as much as you are rushing to work, you know that your dream was terrible. You have a dream you don't understand. You don't just smile over it. Because if you smile over it, the realm of the spirit will, will make it happen. Oh yes, you know what it means. Each time you have a bad dream, suddenly you see that ways are blocked. Suddenly you see people angry with you in your office. Suddenly you see things are terrible again. Let me tell you the truth. Don't ignore spiritual things. So don't ignore spiritual things. Right now I stretch my hand in obedience to God's command. Anyone that is struggling, you are receiving spiritual threats. Threat from the realm of the spirit. Threat, threat in all forms. Threat in all angle. Threat in all area. Anyone receiving spiritual threats. Spiritual threats. Spiritual threat. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, I command that threat from Satan to be destroyed. Threat can come in different ways. Though. The same way people used to have physical threats, political threats, financial threats. There is what we call spiritual threat. When Satan keeps coming to your dream, so when Satan keeps coming to your dream, I command that threat from Satan, that threat from Satan, that threat from Satan, all satanic threats, all satanic threats, satanic threats, demonic threats. Where are those threats coming from? By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Receive fire right now, you Satan. Receive fire right now, you demon. Holy Ghost. Fire the name of Jesus Christ. No one should threaten me. Paul said, Let no man threaten me. Let no man threaten me. I bear the mark of Christ in my body. All satanic threat over your life. All demonic threat over your life. All satanic threat. Spiritual threat. Spiritual threat. Spiritual threat. By the fire of the Holy Ghost be destroyed. Holy Ghost. Fire the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Fire, 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 fire. All those threats from the devil. 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 Spirit of masquerade. Spirit of idol. Ancestral spirit. Spiritual husband. Spiritual wife. Appearing to you in the dream. Appearing to you. Oh, stealing your things. Some of you dream. You see your property being stolen. You see your purse being stolen. You see your wallet being stolen. You see your phone being stolen. You see your contact being stolen in the dream. That is spiritual threat, brothers and sisters. That is spiritual threat. Bring them. Bring them, bring them right now. Bring them to spiritual court. Right now, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I command judgment upon that demon that is sending threat to you. Upon that demon sending threat to you. That unclean spirit sending a threat message to you in the dream. Sending a threat message to you in the dream. Right now, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, be the swim. Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, we release fire upon them right now. We release fire upon them right now. Why should anyone trouble you? Why should anyone threaten you? Paul said, let no man, let no man at all, let no man at all, let no man at all threaten me. Let no man at all threaten me. Who is that man and woman? Who is that spirit? Where is that spirit? Threatening you. Threatening your finances. Maybe your finances is being threatened. Oh yes. You are spending and spending and there is no money coming again. What happened to the money? What happened to the inflow? What happened to the inflow? It is only ad flow. That is a threat. That is a threat. That is a threat. Are you noticing signs in your body? Maybe sickness in your body. That is a threat. It's a demonic threat of sickness. Right now I command. I command all satanic threats, all satanic threats, spiritual threats, spiritual threats, spiritual threats, Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus Christ, fire in the name of Jesus Christ, fire in the name of Jesus Christ, fire, 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 f
declare in the name of Jesus Christ. It is time to respond to the threat. It is time to respond to the threat. Say that you that you are threatening me, come back again. It is time to respond to that threat. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We cannot be quiet. We cannot be quiet and be receiving spiritual threat, physical threat, financial threat, emotional threat right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I command all demon, all demon that is threatening your joy, that is threatening your peace, that is threatening your joy, threatening your job, threatening your career, satanic threat by the fire of the Holy Ghost, be destroyed right now. Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 We command fire from heaven right now. We command fire from heaven right now. We command fire from heaven right now. Any kingdom that is not the kingdom of God. All kingdoms that are not the kingdom of God. That are not the kingdom of God. That is sending threat to you. That is sending threat to you. That is sending threat to you. Any kingdom that is not the kingdom of God. Sending threat to you. Sending threat to you. Sending threat to you. Right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I command. I command that kingdom right now. I command that kingdom right now to receive fire. We want to send fire to those kingdoms. Kingdom that are sending threat to you. Kingdom that are sending threat to you. Kingdom. Planet. 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 Maybe in any satellite. In any kingdom. In any coven. In any sea. In any river. That is sending threat to you. Right now. Where is those threat coming from? Some threats are coming from marine kingdom. Some threats are coming from idols, ancestral spirits. Right now, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, any kingdom send it threat to you. Any kingdom send it threat to you. Any kingdom send it threat to you. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, we command them to be destroyed right now. Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire, 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 fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, kingdom can threaten your business. Kingdoms can threaten your business. Ungodly kingdom can be threatening your business. Ungodly kingdom can be threatening your marriage. Ungodly kingdom can be threatening your life. Can be threatening your health. Can be threatening your destiny. I'm telling you, any kingdom that is not the kingdom of God, sending a threat message to your health, sending a threat message to your children, sending a threat message to your family, sending a threat message to your spiritual life, sending a threat message in the dream, you see yourself being shot in the dream. You see yourself being killed in the dream. You see yourself falling down in the dream. I say that is spiritual threat. It is a spiritual threat. Why should you be shot in the dream? That is spiritual threat. Don't accept it at all. Don't accept it. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, I command spiritual threat right now. By fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire. Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. God of prophet Tibiosha will never, never accept spiritual threat. We will never accept spiritual threat. We will never accept threat from any kingdom that is not the kingdom of God. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, we respond with fire. We respond with fire. That demonic threat, I am responding with fire. Satanic threat, I am responding with fire. Unclean threat, I am resp responding with fire right now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, fire. Fire, 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 fire. This is my response. This is my response. Satan, this is my response. Oh, Satan, this is my response. I am telling you, this is my response. My response is fire. My response is fire. My response is fire. I want to respond to spiritual threat, to physical threat, financial threat, emotional threat in your life, in your career, in your destiny. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I command it right now to go. Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Fire, 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 fire. The name of Jesus Christ. This is our response. Our response is fire. 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 By the fire of the Holy Ghost, our response is fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, we will not accept prayer. You will not accept prayer. Stop accepting it. I say stop accepting prayer. Spiritual threat. I, I see people. Satan just threatening you anyhow. You are living in fear because of threat. You are living in fear. You can't move forward. Satan is threatening you. Satan is threatening you. Right now I command every spirit that threatens you. Every spirit that threatens you. Every spirit that threatens you. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. We respond to them right now. We respond to them right now. We respond to them right now. Oh, they just come to you and say, 
I don't worry. Are you sure you'll be in this job? Are you sure you'll be promoted? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure you'll be able to carry your children? Are you sure? The way I'm looking at you like this, the way I'm looking at you like this, never respond with fire. Respond with fire. The kingdom of God suffers the violence. The violence gets your portion by fire. Right now, I say you threat. Once again, hear the voice of the Lord. You threat. Spiritual threat. Financial threat. Financial threat. Emotional threat. Hear the voice of the Lord. Hear the voice of the Lord. I respond with fire. Holy Ghost, fear in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Fear, 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 fear. Don't think that Satan is happy about this fire. Don't think that Satan is happy about this fire. Satan is not happy. When God show you the picture of Satan right now, Satan can never be happy because we are sending back. We are responding to his threat. We are responding to his threat. We are responding. We are spiritual people. We are spiritual people. We respond with fire. 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 Satan, it is time for us to respond. It is time for us to respond. It is time for us to respond. We are responding with fire. Holy Ghost, fire, 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. That is it. That is it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for you. Let me pray for you. There are people by now. By now, God has given you a prophecy. God has ordained you to be great. Up to now, that prophecy is not coming to pass. There are men and women that Satan sit on their prophecy. Satan sit on their prophecy. Satan sit on their prophecy. Satan is hindering you. Paul said something. Paul said, I desire to come to you once and again. But Satan hinder me. Satan hinder me. I desire to come and bless you. I desire to come and lift you. I desire to come and raise you. I desire to come and pray for you. Satan hinder me. Satan is still hindering people's prophecy today. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Whoever Satan is hindering their prophecy, whoever Satan is hindering their prophecy, you are supposed to be the light of your family. Yes, you have received the prophecy, but yet the prophecy is not coming to pass. My God, my God, I command anyone that Satan has snatched your prophecy, anyone that Satan has hindered your prophecy, anyone that Satan has hold your prophecy, as they will not allow this woman to fulfill destiny, will not allow this man to reach their destination by the fire of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, we command that prophecy to be released. We command that prophecy to be released. Holy Ghost, fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear, fear. Fire, 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 fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, that prophecy, that prophecy, that prophecy, we command anyone that Satan is holding their prophecy, anyone that Satan is holding their prophecy, anyone that Satan is hindering them, hindering them from manifesting, hindering them from manifesting, hindering them to, from getting to their destination, hindering them from shining, hindering them from rising. Right now, I command you stolen prophecy, you stolen prophecy, stolen prophecy, stolen destiny, stolen destiny by the fire of the Holy Ghost. We we command it to be released. Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Fire, 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 fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, what has God promised you? What has God promised you that Satan has stolen? Oh, Satan can steal things. Satan can steal things. Oh, the Bible says that I will restore the years that the enemy, the canker ones, the caterpillars, has eaten and stolen from you. Satan can eat your years. Satan can eat prophecy. Satan can eat things. Right now, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I command whatever Satan has stolen from you, whatever Satan has stolen from you, whatever Satan has received from you, by the fire of the Holy Ghost will rain fire upon them right now. Holy Ghost, fire the name of Jesus Christ. Fear. I command the prophecy of God upon your life. The prophecy of God upon your life. The prophecy of God upon your career. The prophecy of God upon your destiny to be released right now. I say be released right now. Be released right now. That prophecy of God. That prophecy of God. God's prophecy. God's prophecy. God's prophecy over your life. God's prophecy. God's plan over your life. God's mind over your life. God's will over your life. I command them to be fulfilled. I command it to be fulfilled, be fulfilled, be fulfilled, be fulfilled, be fulfilled. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ, 
in the name of Jesus Christ will fulfill. That prophecy must be fulfilled this year. That prophecy must be fulfilled this month. This month I command. I command by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I command by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I say that prophecy must be fulfilled. That prophecy must be fulfilled. That prophecy must be fulfilled. That prophecy. That prophecy must be fulfilled. That prophecy must be fulfilled. That prophecy must be fulfilled. Holy Ghost. Fill up the name of Jesus Christ. Fill up the name of Jesus Christ. Oh go. Oh no, I'm telling you. Oh no, I'm telling you. That prophecy must be fulfilled. I say no to Satan. No to Satan. That their prophecy. That their prophecy must be fulfilled. Oh, let me tell you. Paul Apostle tell Timothy. He said, Now you have received prophecy. Go and wage a good warfare to in accomplish that prophecy. You know, once you receive prophecy, it is time for battle. Once you receive prophecy, it is time to use battle to make sure that the prophecy come to pass. I am telling you, I I wage war against Satan that will not allow your prophecy to come to pass. I wage war against demons that will not allow your prophecy to come to pass. I wage war against unclean spirits that say, no, that prophecy will not come to pass. Where are you, Satan? Where is your location? Where are you hiding? Wherever you are hiding, I send fire to you right now. Leave their prophecy alone. Leave their prophecy alone. Leave their prophecy alone. Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire! 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we command that prophecy of God in your life. We command that prophecy of God in your life. We command that prophecy of God in your career. That prophecy of God in your destiny. That prophecy of God in your marital life. That prophecy of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anyone that Satan or any altar, any altar, maybe an altar is fighting you. An altar is fighting you. An altar may be fighting. Altar can fight people. Altars can fight people. I don't know the kind of altar you belong to. Maybe idols in the family. Maybe spiritual altars. Maybe be negative pronouncement have been made against you in ignorantly and is fighting you till today. I stand here by the power of God. I stand here with the with, with the grace of God and I command anyone that Satan and any altar is fighting. Fighting your career, fighting your destiny, fighting. Do you know how to know that altar is fighting you? When people try to help you, even the people that want to help you enter trouble, that is that is a sign that is an altar fighting. Right now, whoever that altar is fighting, your brothers, your sisters, everyone has tried to help you and yet it's not coming to pass by the fire of the holy ghost any altar that has risen up that is fighting you any altar any altar that is fighting you fighting your career fighting your destiny you evil altar you evil altar i rain fire from heaven upon you i rain fire from heaven upon you and i command that altar to be destroyed holy ghost fire in the name of jesus christ fire in the name of jesus christ fire in the name of jesus christ Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Satanic altars. Satanic altars. Satanic altars. That is at work in your career. That is at work in your home. That is at work. That is at work. Any unclean altar that is fighting you. That is fighting you. That is fighting you. Any altar that is fighting you. It can be altar from the father's side. It can be from the mother's side. It can be from the extended family. Any altar that is fighting you. Fighting you. It may be even the demon that you saw on the road. Demon can walk on the road that uh, the way we walk on the road. And the demon just see you and like you and just enter you and begin to torment you. All kind of altar. Altar from your home or altar from abroad. Altar from your home or altar from, altar from outside. Right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost, that altar anywhere they come from, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, will rain fire upon them right now be destroyed. Holy Ghost fire in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 If the altar in your home did not fight you, the one from outside can fight you. The one from your neighbors can fight you. The one from your friend can fight you. Yes, there are people. There are people that can suffer from the altars of their friends. That can suffer from the altars of their relatives. That can suffer from the altars of their partners. Let me tell you the truth. It is very, very important. Oh, no, Jonah enter a boat. Jonah, Jonah, Jonah have the anger of God. He enter a boat. 
boat and everybody begin to suffer. Right now, whoever that is causing pain in your life, whoever that is causing pain, anywhere that demon is hiding and is bringing pain, maybe through friends that you have, maybe through family, maybe through your background, maybe through your community, there is an altar in community. One can suffer from a, a community altar. One can suffer from a village altar. One can suffer from a regional altar. Right down by the fire of the Holy Ghost, wherever your suffering is coming from, maybe from your region, maybe from your community, maybe from your family, maybe from outside your friends. Right now, I command all evil altar, all evil altar be destroyed. Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 There are regions. There are regions that the, the people over that region, there are countries, the people over that country, they have covenanted themselves with demons. And they say, no one in this nation, no one with this nation will ever rise by serving God. No one will be great by serving God. No one, unless you bow to them, is like a Babylon. Unless you bow to them, right now, I command anyone from such region, from demonic region, from demonic region, and you are suffering because of your region, you are suffering because of your community, you are suffering because of your family, you are suffering because of your village, right now, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I command fire to release you right now, 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 Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus Christ, fire must release you right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, fire must release you right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, Fire must release you right now. We release, 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 we release. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to be released. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, anyone right now, your destiny is like something in a circle. In a circle, 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 circle. There is what they call, there is what they call Jericho in the Bible. Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Nothing goes out and nothing comes in. Who is in a cage right now? Who is in a cage? A cage that looks like Jericho. Nothing goes out, nothing comes in. Nothing goes out, nothing comes in. How do you identify that someone is in a Jericho? There is disfavor. There is no favor. When there is no favor in your life, check very well as if you are in a Jericho. Check very well. Anyone, anyone, anyone suffering right now, anyone that is suffering from that spirit of Jericho, from that spirit of Jericho, spirit of Jericho, it puts you in a circle. No one can see you, no one can reach you, no one can help you, you can't help people, people cannot help you. Right now, that spirit of Jericho, Spirit of Jericho, Spirit of Jericho, Spirit of Jericho, wherever they are right now, anything that Satan has used to put you in Jericho, anything that Satan has used to put you in Jericho, spiritual Jericho, financial Jericho, uh, marital Jericho, right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I command that Jericho to come down. I say be pulled down, be pulled down, be pulled down, be pulled down, Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 There are signs to show. Brothers and sisters, there are signs to show. There are signs to show that someone is in Jericho. There are signs to show that someone is in Jericho. When you are in Jericho, nothing good come to you. And nothing good come out of you. Nothing good come to you. Nothing good come out of you. That is a sign of Jericho. That is a sign of Jericho. The Bible says Jericho. Nothing enters and nothing goes out. Out. Nothing enters and nothing goes out. Anyone suffering from disfavor, disfavor, no one favor you, no one favor you. Career wise, no favor, marital life, no favor, spiritually, no favor. Right now, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I command, I command that walls of Jericho, that walls of Jericho, that walls of Jericho, that walls of Jericho to be destroyed. Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus Christ, fire in the name of Jesus Christ, fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. We we'll release fire upon them right now. We we'll release fire upon them right now. We we'll release fire upon them right now. Let your light begin to shine. 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 I pull down those Jericho. Anyone that his hand and leg have been tied. His hand and leg have been tied. Maybe your hand is tied. Your leg is tied. I often tell you 
when your hand is tired, you can't be productive. You can't be productive. You can't be productive. The evidence that your hand is tired is that no business lasts in your hand. You can't do any business for six months. You can't do any business for one year. It cannot last because your hand is tired. When your leg is tired, the evidence is that you can't move forward. You will be in one position counting years and years. Happy New Year in one position. Happy New Year in one position. Happy New Year in one position. That means the leg is tired. That means the leg is tired. Right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost, any chain that Satan has used to tie your hand, any chain that Satan has used to tie your leg, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I command that chain to be broken. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, I command that chain to be broken. Holy Ghost, fire the name of Jesus Christ. 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 That chain must be broken right now. That chain must be broken right now. That chain must be broken right now. All chains of Satan. All chains of Satan. All chains of demon. I say that chain be broken. That chain be broken. That chain be broken. Chains, chains, chains that Satan has used to tie your hand. Chains that Satan has used to tie your leg. Satan does not tie man's eyes. No, 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 no. They don't tie man's eyes. They can tie your hand and tie your leg. When a man's hand is tied, go and check when criminals are caught. When a criminal is caught by the security, they don't tie their they don't tie their eyes. They tie their hand and their leg. When your hand and leg is tied, you will only be seen. You will only be counting time, but you cannot achieve anything. Right now, anyone that their hands are tied, your legs are tied, your hands are tied. Right now, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I stand as your prophet. I stand as your priest. I stand as your prayer warrior. I command right now, below. Be loose in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Be loose, 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 be loose. In the name of Jesus Christ. I lose you, 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 I lose you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the blood of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you the truth. Many people today, they are the only problem is that they were tied. They were tied. Right now, I command anyone that have been tied for years. Be loose in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 I command right now. Jesus made a statement in the Bible. Jesus made a statement in the Bible. When it was time for the triumphant entry, for the triumphant entry, Jesus told his disciple, he said, hey, go down the street. You will see, you will see a donkey that is tied that no man has ridden on. You will see a donkey that is tied that no man has ridden on. Bring it for me, for my triumphant entry, for my triumphant entry. Let me tell you, there are people who God has given blessing for them to bless you. There are people who are supposed to promote you. There are people who are supposed to you. That promotion is not their own, but they are the ones that are supposed to promote you. That pe there are people that are supposed to bless you. The blessing is not their own. There is a man that has that donkey. That donkey, he has never ridden on it. That donkey was meant for Jesus. That donkey was meant for Jesus. It was not even meant for the owner. There are positions that are not meant for those who are having it. They are meant to bless you with that position. Anyone that's supposed to bless you, but that refuse to bless you. Anyone that's supposed to favor you, but that has had in their Heart. I say we will not give it to you. We will not give it to you. We will not help you. We will not assist you. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, we command, we command. That donkey was untied. I command that blessing, that blessing that belongs to you, that have been tied to be untied. Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, Jesus said, go down the street. Go down the street, you will see a donkey. A donkey that is tied. A donkey that no man, no man. So these people can buy things for another. People can have things for another. People can have position for another. People can have finances for another. Yes, it is possible. Any man that's supposed to bless you, any woman that's supposed to bless you, any woman that's supposed to lift you, any office, any company, any institution that's supposed to be of help to you, but they have had in their heart. They have had in their heart. They don't want to untie the donkey. They don't want to release the donkey. They don't want to release the breakthrough. They don't want to release your promotion letter. They don't want to release your next level by the fire of the holy ghost i send fire to untie it right now i send fire to lose it i send fire to your heart holy ghost fire the name of jesus christ fire the name of jesus christ fire the name of jesus christ fire the name of jesus christ
in the blood of Jesus Christ, I command by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I command that destiny, that blessings that belongs to you to reach you, that blessing that belongs to you to reach you, that blessing that belongs to you to reach you, that blessing that belongs to you to reach you. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is nothing like religion sentiment. Man of God, they are not my. We are not the same religion. They are not Christians. They are unbelievers. They are different religion. They are Muslim. They are Buddhist. Let me tell you, Jesus never tell us whether that man was a Christian or not. He said, go there. When you get there, tell the, tell the owner that the master wants it. Tell the owner that the master wants it. Right now, I make a declare. I make a declare that your document, that your document in government's house, that your document in government house, that your document in government house, be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. That contract that have been on that company table, that contract that have been on that company table, that your CV, that your CV, your certificate, you have been applying, you have sent application to many companies, yet no response. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, I command, let there be a response. Let there be a response. Let there be a response. Holy Ghost, fill the name of Jesus Christ. It's a command. It's a command right now. It's a command right now. It's a command right now. Holy Ghost, fill the name of Jesus Christ. All visa application. Visa application. It looks as if everywhere is quiet. You have applied, you have tried your best, and yet everywhere is quiet. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I declare breakthrough right now. I declare breakthrough right now. I declare breakthrough right now. 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 Ah, you are watching me right now. You are looking for a job. You are looking for a job. A job. A job. A job. A job. A job. Right now, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, anyone looking for a job, who tell you that there is no job in on earth? There is job on it. There is job on it. It is that men has had in their heart to give you. Right now by command, I command you to receive a job. Receive your heart job. A job of your choice. A job of your choice. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone that is here, you are due for promotion. You are due for promotion. You are due for promotion. Yet you are not promoted. You are due for promotion. Yet no promotion. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, anyone that is due for promotion in your job, in your career, anywhere you are due for promotion, right now I say be promoted, be promoted I use my hand to sign your promotion letter, I use my hand to sign your promotion letter, I use my hand the heavenly hand of God to sign your promotion letter, no man can hold you down, no man can hold you down no man can hold you down, no man can hold you down be promoted, be promoted be promoted, be promoted be promoted, be promoted be promoted, be promoted be promoted, be promoted, in the name of Jesus Christ. Be promoted in the name of Jesus Christ. Be promoted in the name of Jesus Christ. Be promoted in the name of Jesus Christ. I, God Samada, I sign your promotion letter. I stand there as a prophet. I sign. I sign. I sign. If you believe me enough, I am signing your promotion letter. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is the handwriting of God. This is the handwriting of God. This is the handwriting of God. I am signing your promotion letter. I am sending your promotion letter. I am sending your promotion letter in the name of Jesus Christ. In the blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the blood of Jesus Christ. I sign it. What is signed by God? What is signed by God? What is signed by God cannot be hindered at all. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the blood of Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, you are coming for a testimony. I'm telling you, you are coming for a testimony. You are coming for a testimony. You are coming for a testimony. You are coming for a, for a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. Begin to give thanks to Jesus. Give thanks to Jesus. Give thanks to Jesus. Give thanks to Jesus. People are lifted. People are promoted. People are healed in the name of Jesus Christ. People are promoted. People are healed. People are delivered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen and amen and amen and amen and amen. People of God, I just hear testimony everywhere. I am just hearing testimony everywhere. I can hear it. I can hear it. I can hear it. I'm hearing testimony everywhere. Testimony, 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 testimony everywhere, testimony everywhere, testimony everywhere in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus Christ. Right now, anyone that is sick, you are sick, you are watching me. Right now, I feel strong, strong sensation here. Healing power is in the house. Healing power is in the house. I say be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. 
I don't know your kind of sickness. Whatever you are having pains, if you want to place your hand there, place your hand there. I can feel you being healed right now. I can feel you being healed right now. I can feel you being healed right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed. Just breathe in this atmosphere. This atmosphere is so powerful. Just breathe in. Breathe in this atmosphere. Can you just breathe in this atmosphere? Breathe in this atmosphere if you are sick. Breathe in this atmosphere. Breathe in this atmosphere. It can bring healing to you. Oh, Jesus. Just breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in the atmosphere. The atmosphere is saturated with fire with fire and when you bring that fire in it goes to destroy every sickness in your organ be healed in the name of jesus christ 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 in jesus mighty name we pray in jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen and amen god bless you make sure you are watching right now make sure you like the video make sure you like the video there is no break anymore in prayer midnight you see us live daytime you see us live in the evenings you see us live this time there is no break in prayer there is no longer break it's a chain of prayer it's a continuous chain of prayer join us join us you can't be weak in this period it is dangerous to be weak join us every morning every morning for this morning prayer and in the midnight for the midnight prayers in the afternoon for deliverance session May God bless you. If you want to reach me one-on-one, -on -one, make sure you call the prayer line numbers. I will definitely reach out to you. If you want to be able to have one-on-one -on -one conversation with man of God, you want to have one-on-one -on -one session with man of God, make sure you call the prayer line numbers that are on the screen. It is free of charge. It is free of charge. This grace is given to us by God freely through Prophet Timothy Joshua. And we are here today also blessing nation with it free of charge. May the Lord bless you, bless you mightily. In the name of Jesus Christ. And don't forget those of you that want and you are requesting for the spiritual item, the bracelet, we have our bracelet here for you. Anointed bracelet that will strengthen you to pray the more, to pray the more. This is it. We have it in different color. The bracelet is available for everyone, everyone. And we also have the anointed sticker. The anointed sticker. Do you see that now? The Lord strong and mighty is in the house. The Lord strong and mighty is in the house. God bless you so much. Those of you that want to have it and the living blood of Jesus. So we have the living blood of Jesus for you. God bless you to have it. And we have the anointed t-shirt. The anointed t-shirt is here. Look at it. This is what I'm wearing now. The anointed t-shirt. I am loved by God. It's a prophetic, prophetic material for you. I am loved by God. And we also have the frame for you. The frame is also there for you. The frame is also there for you. Get your own. It is very, very important. Get your own. It is free of charge but it's only those that are partners of this great ministry so we want everyone to be part of it freely we have uh, we have done this for everyone freely we have done it but we just want you to know that to who much is given much is expected if you are not yet a partner of this ministry become a partner today jesus wants you to be a partner of this great ministry jesus wants you to work with us yes we are one another strength we need you we need your support the same way you need us and together we need jesus don't harden your heart because this is God's own ministry. This is God's own ministry. We can do more if we are working together as a team. Don't say, oh man of God, you take care of all the responsibility and let us take care of all the prayers and we are receiving the prayer. Don't only be a receiver, also be a giver. This is end time. Jesus wants us to be a team. Yes, Jesus wants us to work as a team. Be a partner today and see what God Almighty will do for you. And those of you that have been a partner of this great ministry, we say a big thank you to you because we cannot do it on our own. No, 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 no. We cannot do it on our own at all. It is a collective effort. It's a collective support. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you. Our partners, we say a big thank you to all of you. Those of you that have been faithful right from last year up to this year, we say may God bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you mightily in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. In Jesus' name. For now, you and your household, you are loved by God. In Jesus' name.